Uh, I need all the wins. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no L's. I gotta get a no call to quit. Yeah. yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah. yeah. Better move out the way cause I'm coming with harder hits. My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all that is. You yeah. better move. You might get knocked out. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and dear judo friends. Uh, welcome to the final block of the first day of European Open Cluj Napoca 2022. We'll start the final block with a bronze medal contest uh, in under 48 kilogram category, where Amy Platten of Great Britain will face Priscilla Morant representing Mauritius. Platten in white judogi, Morant in blue. Priscilla Morant uh, was the uh, number one seed in her division on this tournament and she faced <coughs> Bernard Faustin in the semi-final and she lost that semi-final and that's why she is fighting for bronze. So definitely one of the surprises in this weight category. Difficult opposite stance situation. Uh, Morant fighting <coughs> in the right stance, flattened in blue, and she is close to scoring with the Stayotoshi. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other mat, a uh, home favorite, Pop Alexandra, just threw. Uh, Alieva Ramila for Ipon. So, first medal in the first contest, medal contest for Romania. And you can hear the crowd. They are very, very happy, and she is obviously very happy as well. But let's go back to our fight here. The second bronze medal contest. Two and a half minutes to go. And no scores, no shidos. Both trying to have advantage over that sleeve grip, trying to pull the sleeve towards themselves. And on the other hand, trying to distance the lapels so that you're not too close to your to opponent. And another nice Tayotoshi, and she tries to, uh, Morant uh, tries to respond with her own attack. And now it is time for Platon to try some of the famous British Newaza. Halfway through the contest, no scores, no shidos, and ev very even match between Amy Platten and Priscilla Lamorant. As I said, Priscilla Lamorant used to represent Switzerland. Now she fights for Mauritius. Goshi attempt, but it's the Tayotoshi which is which is the most threatening of uh, throws 
which we have already seen in this contest, and she scores a Wazari. This left Tayotoshi. She was close before, but now it's yeah, it's obviously good score, and it's uh, Amy Platten that's winning now. Another good attempt, Ochigari, and then she switches to Uchimata. And now we'll try to work there outside the contest area, but the initial action started inside, so the ref let them continue with the groundwork. So a nice driving Ochigari, and then she tries to lift her up, throw her, throw her again, and then go straight into Newaza. Kosotogari from Morant and she nearly gets countered. It's a nice Osotogari that the referee called Mate because they were <coughs> approaching the advertisement, the advertising uh, which is located at the sides of the contest area. And nice Uchimata from Morant, but it might be a little too late. It's 20 odd seconds. It's uh, Amy Platten that's over her, and she'll probably just finish it off with Nawaza with either a successful uh, hold down or arm lock, or just as the ta time runs up. Yeah, it's an arm lock. <coughs> Great performance from Amy Platten, and the second bronze medal goes to Great Britain. Uh, in the under 48 kilogram category, so it's Alexandra Pop and Amy Platten with bronze medals in this category. And next up, we have a final in this category, and in the final, Bernard Faustin oh from France will face Turkcebeder from Turkey, and Latin they were phenomenal. Today. Uh, great fights, mature judo, and some big throws. As I said, Faustine Bernard defeated number one seed, uh, seed Priscilla Morant. And Better Tukce had also a couple of strong fights up until the gold medal match. Bernard Faustine, France, and Better Tukce, Turkey. French fighter slightly taller and she will probably try to take the advantage by gripping higher and going into those Uchimata Sotogaris but uh, Tukce better uh, had a really great day especially mature tactical approach where she tried to get the better of the grips and try to disallow any opponent to, to take advantage so it will be interesting if she can do it in this uh, final contest because as soon as uh, Bernard will get a good grip she'll be instantly very threatening. But very nice Soda Tsurikomigoshi drops Soda and very close to scoring. She goes very deep, very deep. Now she oh, and another attack. Nice, Yoko Tomoe. It's not the best one she did today, but it was good enough. And she's piling some pressure on the French. Yeah, and this results in in a shido for passivity. This time it's the French fighter. She did that today. It's kind of uh, 
Tomo and Naga attempt uh, and then go straight out to either Sankaku Gatame or or some Kansetsu Aza, so an arm lock from the Sankaku position. And we see a nice combination flurry at of attacks from both of the fighters. So we can expect that one of them will be successful. Another drop soda. And yeah, that, that's what the French warrior does uh, very often. So after this initial uchimata, she goes down the ground and tries to pull uh, pull the other, the, the opponent, the other fighter, uh, into a uh, newaza situation where she can do a great sankaku. And now both of them try to do a yokosute miwaza, I think. Yoko Tomoyanage, but b better Tukze was quicker to react to this initial action and continue it and transition into a successful arm lock. And it's Tukze better from Turkey who claims the gold medal in under 48 kilograms category. Better Tukze, Turkey. You can see the highlights of this contest. Uh, fighting now on map one. And we will stay on map Yeager two Russia. for <coughs> bronze medal match in under and 60 Bola kilograms category. Where Demar Joel from Canada will face Chong Yu Lin from Taipei. From Canada. Both of these fighters had very good days. And Lee Chong Yu Lee from Chong Taipei. Yu from Taipei uh, Exceptionally talented thrower, very nice Uchimatas and Tochigaris. And he was a little bit unfortunate not to get into the final uh, while he lost to uh, Joshua Jaws. But anyway, a very, very talented sportsman. And we'll see if he can claim the bronze or will it come to the other part of the world? Because it's not staying in Europe, it can travel all the way to Canada with Joel Demer. And nice soy, no, <coughs> but it's now situation for Lin. Probably little nudge on the leg, little block, and it can get him a shido for leg grab. It was the slightest of touches, and maybe the referees did see it, maybe they didn't. Ah, he's lucky to get away with it, but another good reaction by Lin and goes into Ochi and straight into Shimewaza. And it tapped out, and he tapped out, yeah, yeah. And it's an Ippon, so it is <coughs> Chong Yu Li, Lin, that will claim the first bronze medal in the men's division in under 60 kilograms and we will just see the results and the highlights and then we will move to the mat one for the second bronze medal contest. Or are the referees watching for something else over there as well? Still making a decision, yeah. So it's all over and is Chong Yu Lin of Taipei, from Taipei who takes the bronze medal and we can move to see the reminder of the second bronze medal contest where Rashad Yelkiev of Azerbaijan faces Thibaut Voleban of the Netherlands. It's uh, one Shido to Voleman, 
Oh, it's two Shido's to Volomon. This one got just after we switched to the camera. It's now Volomon who tries to put a lot of pressure on his opponent, but he has to be careful pushing like that because Yazeri is a big thrower himself and likes to get close. He likes to fight in close contact with his opponents as well. Huge thrower. And a nice saw that Surikamigoshi, but only one hand on the other arm of his opponent, so it was very difficult to control the throw, to guide his opponent to the ground. But a nice try anyway. And yeah, referee called Mate before this action. And we will see if it's a, a penalty going to the Azeri for overly defensive posture. Yes, it is. So it's 2 1 in favor, still in favor of the Azeri. But it's getting closer when we approach the last minute of this contest. Nice drop, Soinaga from the Azeri. Not the best attack, rather far from scoring, but given that he just received a penalty, it's, it's uh, good to mark your, mark your presence in the combat in some other way as well. Another Soi, and this this is going to be enough for the score. Wazari from right drop Ipon Soi Naga, and it is Yelkiev Rashad who will take the bronze medal in the under 60 kilograms here in Cluj Napoca. If he can, yeah. <laughs> I probably uh, already knew that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I should have said that. Yeah, it wasn't a golden score yet, so so he still had to hang on. But uh, it seemed that it's Winner it will be very very yeah, difficult yeah, for Volaman to yeah. to just get something out of it, and and we had a, a conclusion that he just did it. Once again, this time for a straight deep on. Right, uh, as we watch the highlights for this bronze medal match, we will move to mat number two, where the final of this category will take place. And in the final, we'll see Joshua Giles of Great Britain, who will face Nazir Talibov of Azerbaijan. It will be Giles in white judogi, Talibov in blue. Giles, the number one seed today, didn't disappoint, got to the final. He defeated uh, Lin of uh, Taipei in a very, very tight contest, but it was probably uh, Talibov who was the most fun to watch today, especially with those uh, standing opportunity to see in this contest as well. Very explosive fighter, very fun to watch. Always going forwards and pushing to get the best Ipon. Now he drops to the right side at very low Tayotoshi. Quickly gets up and it is and gives some space for Giles to also attack. Giles, on the other hand, uh, a very tactically mature. Not 
or limiting every misstep. Very fine young fighter and uh, he had a great day as well. So it'll be interesting if if it's going to be explosive throws of uh, the Azeri or maybe some tactical skills, maybe some Newaza skills that will help Giles to overcome Talibov in this final. tries to have the better grip but it was Talibos Koshiguru mind to some kind of Uchimata that was the attack which came out of this sequence of grips and now Jaws has some he had some time to work on the ground but uh, probably didn't feel like there was a kind of opening for one of his tricks Halfway through, only one Shido for stepping out, which Talibov got a couple minutes earlier. And now, yeah, it's going to be a second Shido. So I think uh, Jaws's strategy is working right now, but we cannot just, yeah, oh, like that. We cannot cross out Talibov, and he can come up with something really big and unexpected any second of the contest. Especially with those sodas. And if he can get a good two-handed grip, one on the sleeve and the second on either the other sleeve or the lapel, he's dangerous and he can do it uh, from dropping but also from a standing position where he buries his opponents to the ground. So it's a passivity penalty to Joshua Giles. So it's 2-1 in Shido's end. Oh, that was really close. Yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> Standing Sally. Yeah, we'll probably see a highlight of it. But first, yeah, some very good groundwork from Giles. Yeah, he moves in one direction and then attacks the other and very nearly yeah it was so close he just he was unbalanced himself but Talibov's very nice move walking into one direction and then trying to throw in the other and now very very low Tayotoshi after Zhao's initial Ochigari also very close to scoring so It may still go both ways. Now Stalibov has a grip and yeah, very nice attack. I think Jaws attempted the same attack and they just collided and and it was it could have gone both ways, really. Again, tr tries the standing soda. But Jaws was able to sidestep, and we are into the golden score. So the gold medal is still up for grabs for whoever wins the golden score. Yeah, it's pretty self explanatory. Ooh, nice counter. Nice Ashi. Was a work over there. Talibov was close, but he could have slipped himself also. Mm, 
another nice drop technique and drop soda and I think it's going to be ah I thought maybe a sheet of or gels to even it up but it, the referee decided to oh very nice Koshiguruma yeah this is definitely going to be even up event up now by the referee yeah so it's Next mistakes, which will decide who takes the gold medal. It's either a Shido or a score. Let's hope for a big, big Epon. Because both are more than capable of, of doing something great, something special. And now it's Giles' Tayotoshi. Again, Koshiguruma just has, has tried to counter it, but it wasn't uh, easy. So and then he could even end up being re-countered, uh, so to say. So, so very good attempt by Talibov. Again, he comes with the Tayotoshi, so it's the the main threat, and they are like they're sh shooting the sh those shots like gun fighters. First, it's one, then the other. Now it's a silly attempt from Giles, and now it's time for Talibov to to do something, or else he's out. So he'll definitely come with full force. He will do one more and he nearly gets it with a, I think if with a Tsubame Gaeshi. Yeah, so very proficient, both of these fighters, uh, very proficient in Ashiwaza. Look at this Tsubame Gaeshi. And now very low Tayotoshi from Talibov, which is answered with a Tayotoshi of his own by Giles. Again, Tsubame Gaeshi. Well, both extremely, extremely tired. Yeah, this day was old and hot. Uh, this day very long for them and uh, very hot. So they have the right to be really tired and down uh, it comes down to not only skills right now but those uh, guts to say who has more of them and it's talibov as i said with a spectacular throw so that surigonigoshi from standing position grabbing both sleeves first pulling down and then exploding exploding speed of the technique and being Giles to the ground. Yeah. Perfect timing. He waited for Giles to reach for the lapel and he waited and waited because he wanted this arm. He wanted it. So he let Giles reach for the lapel and then he launched his attack. So a very, very good performance by Talibov. Uh, he was spectacular all day and I think that he thoroughly deserved the gold medal today. Now we move to victory ceremony. For under 48 kilogram category. Florinda Chan, 
Vice President of the Romanian Judo Federation. Okay, we're back after the <coughs> victory ceremony, awarding some Romanians, and we're back with the bronze medal match in 52 kilogram category, where a uh, host representative, Alexandra Paska, will face Sian Bobrovska from Great Britain. The hosts, uh, Romanians, already collected one bronze medal and they want to add to that tally with Pasca their hope for adding another bronze medal. And this would give them a very good start to into for girls. Very nice attempt. Kind of saw the or saw Inaga from Denise, and now, but now it's Bobrovska who is all over her. 
very nice attempt nevertheless from Pasca, the home favorite. And on the other bronze medal match, uh, we already have uh, a winner, and it's Gabriela Dimitrova of Bulgaria who defeated Hesa Almelaki of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and it's a passivity shido for Bobrovsky, <coughs> Bobrovska Sian, and. Uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, Pasca is really, really dominating this contest. Apart from the groundwork, which Bobrovska is uh, very capable of, and now Pasca is in real trouble, but she managed to defend this perilous position. Just over two minutes and 10 seconds to go in this contest. But I have a feeling that it will end a little bit sooner than that. Nice Ochi from Dubrovska. And a nice Tani Otoshi. And she goes straight into Shime Waza, but couldn't couldn't just put her arm just below the chin, attacking the face, and in this way, nothing came out of it. Sodas is definitely one of her main threats and now yeah she does a lot of space for herself and goes in for another drop Soinaga Ipon Soinaga in this case and now she tries to work on the ground and this is probably going to be enough for another Shido for Sian Bobrovska. Yes. So Either she works a little bit harder or or she's out of the bronze medal contest in a, in a really short time. Yeah, another sorry. She's always constantly one step ahead, Pasca. The only the only area in where uh, Bobrovska is, is ahead is, is the Nawaza, but Pasca is defending pretty well, pretty well, right? So it's probably Bobrovska's only opportunity right now. She cannot get close to her uh, to have an opportunity for her own throw. And uh, Pasca being always one step ahead just gives the uh, the appearance that and it's not an appearance it's, it's right that she's always attacking and she's always uh, faster and better and those attacks are closer to scoring so the only area in which uh, Bobrovska was uh, was could be seen as, as better and as more active was uh, the Nawaza and and now a little bit of panic attack from uh, Pasca, but all the way in this contest, she was uh, she wasn't startled. She she put on the best she had probably, and it was enough at that time. Now she's probably going to get a pen pe penalty. 
for just going to the ground. Yes. Last five seconds, yeah, and she also, yeah, she was really close, and we are into the golden score, and I think she will get, uh, Bobroska will get another chance, a lifeline, but if it continues like that, uh, I think the next Shido is immune. Yes, it's Pasca who's constantly a bigger threat. She's attacking. Yeah, a little time to rearrange the judogi. We continue the golden score. And another Uchimata from Pasca. And this, this was dangerous. And after her own attack, she goes down into an Osai Komi. And it will be Bobrovska who takes the bronze medal in this under 52 category. As I said, uh, she looked better in Newaza. She's definitely proficient and she may be a little bit more experienced. She waited it out and uh, she just took the opportunity. But wow, this was a very close match. Our fighting now. On match two, and now we go Australia to the final of this category and Stere it will be Simka Easton of Australia against Elena Stere of Romania. So another chance for a medal for Romania. Uh, well, technically they already have a medal. It's only whether it will be a silver or a gold. I think everybody in this hall uh, or most of the people uh, are counting on Stere Elena to get the gold home. And it's a nice attempt by Tinka Easton. It's a Wazari. So there is a steep mountain to climb for Elena Sterke if she wants to take the gold medal. Nice Uchimata, but those Uchimatas can be countered. And uh, Elena Sterke was very close to Uchimata's Kashi this time. So it's a Wazari on board in the beginning uh, phases of this match. And Elena now pushing forwards all the time but she can't afford to make any more mistakes. It's Shido for uh, Easton. And this is a very interesting contest. It's a flurry of, of attacks from both sides. Another Uchimata and, and yeah. And in many cases today, this kind of attack uh, eventually led to disqualification. So I think they're looking into it. I hope it's not the case here. But uh, the referees were consistent with uh, this kind of situations. And they let players to continue the fight. Yeah, another Uchimata for Easton. Two and a half minutes to go. 
and uh, it's e it evened up now in Shido's, but it's still a lead by Wazari for Easton. She seems to get a like better grip, but some of those attacks she does are a little bit sloppy, so she has to be careful not to get countered. And I it seems that she's tried to try to finish it up quicker. She doesn't want to like wait it out. She constantly pushes and attacks and tries to get uh, either another score or another Shido to her opponent. Halfway through the contest and it's And another Uchimata attempt, and yeah, what now? Yeah, those attacks are uh, sometimes difficult to evaluate properly. No score this time. Another one of those Ochi Uchimata attempts. Yeah, she rotates and then goes into Makikomi, but it's probably taken her too long, so it's not going to be a score. There was the drive, there was the continuation, but it, it had taken her too long, and so no score as we enter the last minutes of this contest. Another one. So nice Uchimata attempts and then she tries to switch it to Ochigari and then she gets the counter and it's a Wazari Alsati Ipon. So Tinka Iston wins the gold medal here in Cluj Napoca. A very uh, convincing performance uh, all the day throughout. I think uh, she was uh, fighting really well. Uh, we didn't see all of those fights, but uh, also the final, quite comfortable uh, here with uh, Romania. Constantly attacking, flurry of attacks, uh, most of them successful, also always ahead of their opponent, so a uh, thoroughly deserved gold medal. Yeah, we can see the highlights of the contest as we prepare for next awarding ceremony uh, for men under 60 kilograms.
are back with yet another uh, bronze medal contest. This time it's uh, in under 66 kilogram category where Johan Cittac of Romania will face Tofik Mamadov of Azerbaijan. The other bronze medal match is between two Azerbaijan players and if you're willing to see that, please go uh, to Matt too. But we will stick with the uh, home boy as for now. Good grip from Johan. Nice Uchimata, and then he tries to go the other way for Yoko Stemi or a Kataguruma from the knees. Yeah, and it's probably going to be Ashido for Mamadov. Uh, Mamadov slightly injured during the day. He was limping a bit. He seems fit enough to fight for bronze medal match, though. Good attempt. And now some good piece of groundwork from Ditach. As he tries to rotate his opponent. Winner and bronze medalist. By the way, Ruslan Pashayev has just won uh, the other bronze medal match uh, with a disqualification of his opponent. So whether uh, the Azerbaijan takes two bronze medals in this division or only one is still up for grabs and it may add to the collection of the hosts. If uh, Jitaj Johan wins this contest, or it can grow the collection of Azeris today. Yeah, a second Cheeto for false attack to Mamadov. So he's in trouble. Halfway. <laughs> To the con through the contest and he's already in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you can hear the support for Jitach. And is it Ashido for stepping out or pushing out or no Shido at all? Yeah, the referee commission has a look. Those ki kind of decisions must be taken after a careful consideration, and it is. So it's a bronze medal for Yoan Titac of Romania. So it's Titac who takes the second bronze medal. And we go to the final of this category, the final of under 66 kilograms. We can see coach Dan Fazi with his player. Both are uh, happy, very happy with the result. And we go to the final of this category and it's Verhorten Ivo from the Netherlands versus Daniel Kapolushnik of Israel. It's Verhorten uh, in white and Kapolushnik in blue. And I believe uh, these are the only judogis they used throughout the day because Verhorstert was number one seed and each fight he had was in white gi, whilst uh, Kapelushnik was 
on the bottom of the draw and every fight he had today was in the blue judogi and then he did get them those judogis straight into the final of this under 66 kilogram category single shido for kapelushnik is what divides the players right now Nice uh, Sumigashi from Verhofstadt, but he has to be careful not to get himself into trouble. We've seen a couple of situations like that where somebody was so close to scoring and getting into a uh, Osaikomi situation because of the imprecision or because of the tiredness of the lack of focus. Mm. So he has to be careful with those. Good grip, very deep for Verhofstadt. He likes to go this deep and then da, do the sumigayashi. Yeah, we saw that a couple of times today. And it even got him to the final. But it's a very good, very nice throw from Kapolushnik. Very nice Ochigari. Control till the end. Yeah, it's a correct decision. Yeah, so you can see, he goes in front, then he switches the direction. And it's not flat on back, but the, the control was there. If somebody was... Uh, wanted to be uh, like apothecary precise maybe they could argue that it wasn't a full pawn but uh, i i think we don't have to go into such a detail it was a very good throw control from the beginning till the end the power was there so a very very nice performance for um, daniel kapelushnik and, and he wins the gold medal and now it will have a awarding ceremony for the under 52 kilogram category. And then we go back to bronze medal matches and the final in under 57.
and Van den Mimmel, Shannon from Netherlands. On my two, Pelitelli, Sia, Tadej, and Janssen, Daniel, Edward. And now it comes to under 57 kilogram category and we will go with Martin Jasmine of Republic of South Africa versus Shannon van den Meeberg of the Netherlands. Okay, so good first time attempt. Yeah, and is it an Epon? Yeah, she, it seems like she has slipped a bit, but nevertheless, it was a good action. Uh, started with an Uchimata, then went into Ochi, and then finally with a Kochigari, and it's Shannon van der Meberg with a really nice drive, the control with the arms. Yeah, she didn't fall on her own, she, she got thrown. So a very nice, very quick final. We can look at the highlights for a minute. And yeah, very good job for Shannon and we move to Matt too to see the other bronze medal match in this weight category and this one is between Silvia Pelliteri of Italy versus Danik Janssen of the Netherlands. Can the Netherlands claim the second bronze medal in this weight category as well? well on the referee orders uh, Claire to just uh, rearrange her rearrange her her and she gets a shido which is cancelled so we didn't miss anything of uh, particular interest uh, when it comes to scoring chart it's still nil nil and no shidos uh, so Inaga attempt by Janssen and now it's uh, Silvia Pelitteri that tries to go into Newaza she tries to go into the Sankaku the legs are already oh, the legs were good but she couldn't rotate uh, her opponent the other way around Okay, so th this is this is definitely going to be a Shido. Yeah, not not the best of decisions uh, against uh, Pelitteri. And now she goes for a Soto Makikomi or a Soto Makikomi. She collapses halfway through. And it's uh, Shido for Danik Janssen, so it's all even right now as we approach uh, the midway of this contest. And now Sotomaki Komi into Osotogari, into Sotomaki Komi again. But she couldn't do get any more of it. But maybe now, when she yeah she gets out the leg, but she couldn't control the upper body. So no no osaikomi. now yeah this yeah another trial of Sotomaki Komi and is that uh, is that a score because uh, Peliteri lost the grip and she went down to the ground she was rotated to her back but probably 
there was too much of a break and too less of the control and now she is having an Osai Komi called but couldn't hold long enough and now the oh they called the Osai Komi the other way uh, probably by by a mistake so 34 seconds to go, both uh, fighters having Shido's on their accounts. Very tactical fight, uh, both try to, first of all, reduce the risk, minimize the risk, and another Soto Makikomi attempt, or Harai Makikomi. And now she got turned over, and is it on? She has the hand, the, the arm but she couldn't control it anymore. Three seconds, we go into the golden score. Terry Terry uh, leading by one, one Shido because, oh! Uh, Hansen was penalized and then out of the blue, she managed to throw her opponent, Terry Terry, to the ground, but it was probably after the buzzer. Yeah, so Periteri was saved by the buzzer, but she goes in again, and this time it's an Epon. Huge Uranage. She did that a couple of seconds before, but it didn't count because it was after the signal. But this time she does it without any doubt and she wins the bronze the medal. So it's the Medellin second bronze Yancy medal Zenik in this weight category for the Netherlands, and it's uh, Danik Janssen will take it home. Congratulations. We go now to the final of the 57 uh, kilogram category, now. and it will be Kormas Irem, Kormas Irem representing Dabrowska Turkey, Anna, and Anna Dombrowska, Polska. It's Korkmaz in white, Dombrowska in blue. Both had exceptional day today. Uh, Dombrowska in the semi-final having to overcome uh, one of the Dutch girls. Uh, and the fight was very, very uh, even. But she came out uh, on top and she faces Korkmaz in the final. Soto Makikomi attempt and Dombrowska straight into tra transition to to Sankaku or or maybe for some kind of an armbar. It was difficult to say from this perspective. Yeah, another Soto Makikomi attempt by Korkmaz. and she drops him, but Dombrowska has to get to work to avoid being penalized. One minute into the contest, both fighters Shido apiece. Yeah, nice countering action, and she goes straight into Newaza. Good transition, but she couldn't do anything better with that. Trying to move to this Soto Makikomi, but uh, Dombrowska started blocking her and uh, started to being ahead of her by this nice Ipon Seoi to the other side. And a nice Uchimata and tries to switch it out to Ochi and then to Sasae and straight into a strangle. Is it on? Is it on? It seems on. Yes, it's it on. Great job. Super, Anna. Great job. 
very good day for Dombrovska. Couple of nice throws, especially those Uchimata Soto Makikomi combinations. And here she was very patient with her approach, and then she went into it all in straight from Tachiwaza into Newaza. A very nice transition, transitional play. Winner and gold medalist, Zabrowska Anna from Poland. And it's a gold medal for Poland which I am especially happy about. Now we will go to the awarding ceremony for under 66 kilograms, I believe. And we have still two uh, medal blocks here with the under 73 kilogram categories and under 63 kilogram categories. So just after the awarding ceremony, we'll back with more judo fights. After a short break for a warding ceremony, we're back uh, with more bronze medal matches. This time in under 73 kilogram category, and it will be Oron Giner uh, representing Israel versus Eric Ham of Great Britain. It's Giner in white and Ham in blue. And a nice Ochigari attempt from Giner.
both of the fighters uh, having a very good day today. Eric Ham lost in the semi-final uh, to Alexander Gabler and uh, Giner Oron lost to Telman Valiev of Azerbaijan, but apart from that, they were they're magnificent today. Uh, Eric Ham especially good Nevada and transition skills, but has a throw of his own. Yeah, nice solid Surikon Goshi. So he does this this movement with a left sided coach carry and then swiftly goes into right sided Soda. So this is a nice nice attack. And now they are looking for some blood markings, but they couldn't find any, so it might have been some some previous situation. Nice. Oh, very nice. Osoto or Harai Goshi and straight into Judy Gatama. So close. Oh, yeah. So they are considering maybe this is a bridge or head defense. Anyway, this uh, this attack, which was very fine, it started off as a backward attack, more of an Osoto, but he had to finish it forwards into some kind of Ashiguruma or Haraigoshi, I think. Yeah, and Wazari, it stays, and we continue on. And he nearly gets countered. Okay. Halfway through the contest, now Giner puts a lot of efforts, but Ham tries to get the better of the sleeve grip and to control the fight on the grip. As he steps out of the mat, and is it going to be a time for a penalty? He was spared, but it's Skinner who pushes forward. He wants to go get back into this contest, but he nearly gets caught by this Sasaya Tsurika Miyashi. And now, oh, dangerous situation. Eric Ham drops down to uh, Soinaga, and uh, he nearly gets countered by a uh, sidestep Uchimata. And now both of the fighters get penalties, I think. Oh no, it was only Eric Ham for blocking up. Ooh, nice soda and... Yeah, it was a nice attack. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to lift. Winner from the from Azerbaijan. And another drop soy, sound a little bit better. And now uh, Ginner launches a Sumigayashi of his own and nearly gets caught into Osaikomi Waza. Yeah, Eric Ham's game plan right now is to just uh, keep the distance, keep the right hand high on the lapel. And do not do any mistakes. And fortunately for him, he avoided such a mistake right now and he will try to just pull his opponent down to the ground to wind down the clock 35 seconds to go Eric Ham affording one more Shido and he would probably want to save it for the last couple of seconds of this contest oh that didn't look good Yeah. 
15 seconds. Still one penalty in his back, which he can take. One more, Solinaga. He probably will get penalized for that, but he couldn't care less. He was prepared for that. Unless he does something very, very unwise, he gets the medal. And he managed not to do any unwise stuff. So it's uh, Eric Ham of Great Britain will take the bronze medal home. Great job, Eric Ham. And in the other bronze medal match, it was uh, Winner and bronze medalist Nariman Mirzaev from Britain. Azerbaijan who took the other bronze medal. So it seems that Azerbaijan is uh, Azerbaijan's standings in the medal rankings are are, are considerably enhanced right now, but it's still Turkey who is occupying Denmark. first place. And, and we go to Alexander. the final. Yes. Germany. Azerbaijan can come up front and will will go up front after this final. And the final is Telman Valiev of Azerbaijan against Alexander Gabler of Germany. And it's Valiev in white, Judogi Gabler in blue. And a nice Yoko Sutemiwaza attempt and Valiev, who has been outstanding today, tried to counter it and transition straight to Newaza but was unable to to rotate his opponent to the back. But it was very, very close. And now drops Ai from Gabler. some technical difficulties. Okay, and we're back. Excuse us for technical difficulties we can proceed with the final of under 73 kilogram category what a what a combination that was yeah it's difficult to classify it name it somehow but but it was outstanding. We will probably need a slow motion for that. Yeah, we can see some Uranage and then Tani Otoshi maybe, but anyway, you'd like to call it. It's uh, Wazari on the scoreboard for Valiev and, and now he tries again. And he just, he just goes for him. He doesn't calculate, he's all in. Like a, like a train. Doesn't want to stop. Again, so that's Suriko Migoshi. And another Uranage, but he did he get complacent? Because he could have g 
kept in trouble with that situation. little less than two minutes into this contest but I think it will end with an Epon even before there's something going st uh, still going to happen in this contest yeah nice Epon Sorinaga attempt from Gabler and he will now try to to push to pile up the pressure on his opponent and Valiev who is being penalized right now. He will probably try to uh, try to use those mistakes to punish those mistakes with uh, with something uh, of his own, like that. <laughs> like this, Kosotogari straight for Ipon. He did that previously again. Uh, in the final, so a very, very good performance. Valiev Telman of Azerbaijan takes the gold and he deserves it. Some massive, massive throws today. Uh, very good skill. Look at the drive. It starts as a hook, but then it's like a push, like a pushing train uh, that doesn't want to stop. Uh, in some preliminary fights he did this kind of a hook and then reap motion here the hook motion and then the drive was enough for a Nippon and it's Valiev Telman who takes the gold medal and it's Azerbaijan who is now occupying the top of the medal table for day one Ladies of this European Open in Luz Napoca Romania and will stay there after Thursday because the last final will be in under 63 kilogram category between Romania and Florentina Ivanescu, so the representative of the hosts and Anja Obradovic from Serbia. But before that, we'll still have bronze medal matches, so Azerbaijan will stay top of the medal table after the first day and no less than six different countries will have uh, five different countries will have gold medals after that day okay uh, after the decoration we'll back with you with the last final block the under 63 kilogram category Bronze medal matches and then final.
for the last of today's bronze medal matches, uh, we have chosen a fight between Hannah Martin of the United States of America and Rania Dritt of France. Hannah Martin uh, having a very, very good day today, maybe lacking a little bit of sharpness, but tac tactically sound, and she's probably uh, gaining this, this momentum, this sharpness uh, by every day right now. On the other hand, uh, Rania Dritt uh, was most of the time fighting to her own advantages, a very good Uchimata attack, uh, especially when she could put her right arm over uh, her opponent's back, just like that, and then she could do this uh, Uchimata Kenken hops, 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 and with each and every hop she was closer to a score, and that's what she did most of the time today. But it's Hannah Martin going for an arm lock. And she can she get the arm off? She can rotate the body over. So it's now it's now really, really close. She did that before as well today. So she's really good with the arm locks. She will go for a hold down. Can she over rotate the body or go back to the Juji? No, she can't. But it was a very good piece of groundwork from Hannah Martin. Very good job to her. And two and a half minutes left in this contest. No, no scores, no shidos. It's all even. And from the way it looks, uh, I think uh, Hannah Martin will try to uh, just get to the ground as, as often as possible. She has shown a great proficiency in ground fight and she will might look for her chance there. But now it's a hip throw for a hip throw down at the edge of the mat. Uh, she also felt quite confident uh, during the day fighting on the edges, uh, slightly or gently pushing uh, her opponents over uh, the mat, getting those, uh, collecting or getting those penalties for them uh, with the slightest of uh, pushes or pressure. So it's the also the, the area in which she, she excelled today, I think. So she's not afraid to fight on the edge, as you can see, and she's very, very close with this Haraigoshi or Ashiguruma. She was very close to a score. And they have to look at something. Oh, another. Some technical difficulties over on the mat. Can't see what's, what's going on there, but we're back fighting. Good attempt from Rania Dritt. If she had a better grip, it could have been something more. But from the way... Oh, down on the other mat, it's uh, where two German fighters are fighting each other. It's... Okay, so it's uh, Schmidt in the other fight. So it's Agatha Schmidt of Germany who overcomes her teammate, Malin Fischer, and takes the bronze medal, the first bronze medal in under 63 kilogram category. And we are still <laughs> awaiting for a decision down on mat two. Because uh, 
from what I can tell, it's yes, it is going to be a Waki Gatama throw. So, unfortunate uh, use of this Uchimata from one side at cross grip. And it's Hannah Martin from the United States of America that'll take the bronze medal. And I will invite all of you, ladies and gentlemen, to the last final of the day, and it will be Florentina Ivanescu of Romania, of the host nation, fighting up against Anja Obradovic of Serbia. Obradovic, a world medalist already. On map two, are fighting for a gold medal, representing Romania, Ivanescu of Florentina, and representing Serbia, Obradovic, Anja. Florentina Ivanescu, 35th place on the world ranking list, and she fights against Anja Obradovic of Serbia. And it's, it's going to be a good fight. The referee let some of the groundwork, right? So opposite stance fighters, but they are perfectly capable of going both ways and from a different grips. It is Obradovic who gets penalized for breaking the grip with both hands. And as you can hear probably and see, uh, people from, from the stands are really cheering for uh, their player. They could really use a gold medal here. And coach being silenced a bit, calmed down, but still it's a, it's a one Shido only and it's Shido for uh, Obradovic. And a nice Uchimata attempt, one-handed one Uchimata attempt by Florentina Ivanescu and now for a pickup or for a coachy and is that is that a score with their continuity uh, Ivanescu goes for Sode Guru Majime can she can she strangle her it's a Sode Guru Majime no Okay, now the refs will probably look at at the situation with Soto uh, Sumigaeshi again. But I don't believe it was a score. The break was too long. It was a different action al already. So both going for a cross grip. And then down. One minute 45 left, and still only a single Shido in favor of Ivanescu. Nice Sotomaki Kami attempt from Obradovic. Yeah, a little maybe too aggressive grip fighting, so probably some more penalties are on the way. And ooh, nice Osoto Makikomi attempt. She didn't have the perfect grip for it, but 
Nevertheless, it was a good chance. Yeah, the one arm just slipped out of the of the grip, but it was a very good attempt. And it's a second Cheeto for Obradovic. This is like her second choice uh, technique, but uh, she did a couple of them pretty well. First starting with the Kochi and then going the other direction with the Soda Tsuriko Migoshi. And it's a fine combination, but she could probably try it a little more often. Because it was quite good actually. And it's another Osoto plus Tani Otoshi combination. Was mightily close, but she just couldn't couldn't control the upper body of her opponent because and we have a, a problem. Hopefully not something with the shoulder. Not, not a very good Sumigashi attempt, but maybe, maybe she'll be saved by the buzzer. Yes, so we are into the golden score. Two Shidos against Obradovic. Uh, she looked a little bit more lively right now, but it is uh, Ivanescu who is firmly uh, controlling this fight more most of the time. And now into a Nosaikomi if she can get the hold. Yeah, and now sh she can get the legs off, and but she couldn't pin her on both of her scapulas or shoulders to the ground. So it's Obradovic who is laying flat on her front, and that's not the good way. To have an also coming. So we continue. And a very good flurry of attacks. And is it enough? She also tries to indicate that she was, uh, th that there was a, maybe a leg grab involved. But still nothing. And another good Uchimata uh, as a counter to this kind of. Waki Otoshi or Kosotogake uh, attempt, throwing the attempt. And I think it's uh, it's the last chance for Obradovic. Yeah, this is this is not a good attack. So it's sad to say, but it's probably for the better. If oh no, oh, the referees decided against it. She, yeah, she tries to attack, but oh, n this wasn't the best of attacks. Both of them really tired, and maybe if the leg can come out, it cannot. Not enough control, not enough initiative. Okay. Now very, very good grips, but now it's the Romanian who makes a lot of mistakes. She's 
the trouble and Sobradovic who keeps pushing forward. And a nice Ipon Soinaga attempt. And again another one. So a succession of nice Ipon Soinaga attempts and now a nice turnover in Newaza. If she can get the leg out, it will be all over probably. Which she can't. Little more than two minutes into the golden score, so more than six minutes altogether in this uh, hot venue with the atmosphere even hotter because the host player is fighting with people screaming for shidos and scores. Uh, it's uh, it's easy to maybe get a little carried away, but uh, another good attack for Ipon Soinaga from Ivanescu, and it might be all over. Yes, it is. So it's the third Shido for Ivanescu, uh, for Obradovic Anya, and it's uh, Floriana Ivanescu of Romania who takes the gold medal and put, puts Romania also with the gold medal uh, with the countries which have a gold medal. Okay, we will now move to the victory ceremonies and then we will make a small recap of what happened today.
And uh, that's all for today's uh, first day of European Open here in Cluj-Napoca. Uh, to sum up, we had uh, different uh, very beautiful scenarios uh, for some, a lot of disappointment. Uh, to start it off, uh, Azerbaijan tops off the medal chart with two gold medals, three bronze medals, three five places and one seventh place. And they were absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Talibov and Valiev, both gold medal winners, uh, were probably out of their league. They had a league of their own and they were very, very good here today. And uh, yeah, we hope to this trend continue. Please go away. This trend to continue tomorrow uh, with more spectacular fights. Also the host nation, Romania, won gold medal, two, uh, one silver, two bronze medals, but not the medals probably most of us expected. Uh, quite a disappointing uh, competition for both top seeded athletes in uh, under 73 kilogram category, Raiku and Sulka. I think Raiku also got a little bit injury, so it will be uh, maybe hard to say who will come on top in two years time and it's obviously uh, it would always be very difficult to to uh, think who might be better in two years but as the start uh, of the uh, Olympic qualification is uh, right now it's very difficult both were uh, quite disappointing uh, seventh place for Raikou and uh, minor injury Sulka going out so it's difficult to say I think more more of us were expecting that uh, they could probably do a lot better today uh, and they didn't but the other uh, Romanian inter, uh, international players uh, have uh, provided like medal for pop and also uh, the gold medal for uh, Floriana it's also very very good for this uh, this team and they will hope to continue tomorrow they have a couple of good athletes couple of uh, top seats as well so we'll uh, be happy to to see how they how they go and uh, one last thing is that uh, I'm very happy to to say because it's my first time uh, here and I can say it uh, for the first time and also it's the first one for a Polish athlete who took gold medal today Anja Dąbrowska it's her first on European Open senior and I would really like to take this opportunity to congratulate her and it was a very good display and uh, we, I was happy to be on this international stage and uh, look at her fights and listen to our national anthems. Uh, national anthems. So I'm uh, more than happy to be Polish and uh, and I'm very glad I had the opportunity to witness it firsthand. Congratulations to all of the vi winners and uh, I would like to invite all of you to join us tomorrow for the second day of European Open here in Cluj-Napoca. Uh, we hope for more, uh, more great fights uh, tomorrow and for the atmosphere to be even better. And uh, I think that's, uh, that sums up what we had uh, here on the first day of European Open here in Cluj-Napoca. Thank you very much. Have a great afternoon and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. I need all the wins, yeah. yeah. Ain't no L's, I gotta get a no call to quit, yeah. yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets, yeah. yeah. Better move out the way, cause I'm coming with harder hits. My head is as hard as a brick, but I'm harder than all it is. You yeah. better move, you might get knocked out. Different names to justify the ownership. Rules are still the same. Chances we don't get. But still we show showing love to everyone that shows respect. At the river is where they used to trade. Our ancestors, how can we not relate? The story goes so deep. Not looking for revenge. Looking for solutions in the day that we'll smile again.